and then and kind of developing a brotherhood was something we'll really never never be able to uh, get rid of and uh you know that's something that i wouldn't have been able to have i think in alabama i realize you're in the middle of the tournament and then now obviously you're getting ready uh for for the for the rest of the season but after the victory last night uh how many uh how many texts how many times were you hit up by former friends and, uh, <laughs> and, for, and colleagues at alabama uh, well, I, I, I just remember when I first turned my phone on about probably 40 minutes after I had finished, I had, I think, 248 texts. So I, uh, luckily because of the time change, I just kind of waited until, waited until I got here, um, to, to answer them because I figured a lot of people would be asleep and I, I try to answer as all that I can, but at an early morning this morning, I had to wake up at 4.30. I'm at a, a Ralph Lauren actually photo shoot right now, so I'm, I had to wake up bright and early for that, so it wasn't wasn't much celebration. But like Coach Saban says, you know, you got to you cherish it for a night, and then you're on to the next week. Well, speaking of uh, Nick Saban, uh, I would imagine uh, you will find time this evening, as tired as you are, to uh, get in front of a television set. It's eight o'clock here. What will be about three uh, three o'clock, three o'clock, three o'clock here, yeah. out there? Put it this way: There's a reason I woke up at 4:30. I'm, uh, there's a reason I woke up that early. They know that I'm out of here by 1:30, so I can be in front of a TV for that game. <laughs> I watched it last year at a place in Waikiki Beach in uh, in Honolulu, and we won last year, so I figure I'm going to go watch watch it in the same place. So um, I will definitely be there in front of a TV with uh, with Trey Mullinax, Bud Collie, and some other people. But I got to have a couple bammers there with me so we can uh, we can get a little rowdy, hopefully.